Welcome, friends. Today, as we're thinking about light and all of these things, I want to talk about shadows. We don't necessarily think of shadows. Another way you might say shade. When we think about shadows, what do you think of? Do you think of dark places? Do you think of scary places? Some of our idioms in our language talk about the shadowy underworld and things like this. But I want you to think of something different. In scripture, shadows tend to refer to places that are safe, as in the shadow of a stronghold or the shadow of God. So I'm going to share a piece from you from Psalm 17. Hear just cause, O Lord, attend to my cry. Give ear to my prayer, prayer from the lips of my free, my lips free of deceit. From you let my vindication come. From your eyes see the right. If you try my heart and you visit me by night, if you test me, you will find no wickedness in me. My mouth does not transgress. As for others do, by the word of your lips, I have avoided the ways of the violent. My steps have held fast for your paths, and my feet have not slipped. I call upon you, for you will answer me, O God. Incline your ear to me and hear my words. Wondrously show your steadfast love, O Savior of those who seek refuge from their adversaries, adversaries at your right hand. Guard me as the apple of your eye. Hide me in the shadow of your wings from the wicked who despoil me, my deadly enemies who surround me. One of the things we read in Scripture is that we are protected in the shadow and the shelter of God's wing. Now, I want you to think of the image of a bird. And if you have a garden, you know birds because the birds like to come and eat things. It's the natural order of things. Is it ideal? No, but it's okay. The shadow of the wing, when you think about a mama bird or a daddy bird or some shape in there, the wing comes around to protect. And the shadow, this unknown time, this unclear thing, right? The shadow covers you and you can't necessarily see what's going on, but you're being protected. When we think of shadows, we think of shade. And in the garden, you need that shade too. You don't just want intense sunlight all day long. You'll scorch the plants, but that shadow, that shade will protect, will keep it safe. If you've ever been out on a hot day, out in the, the beating sun, whether it be on the golf course or the beach or just taking a walk, spending time in your backyard, you'll know that sometimes you need that break. You need a break from the light to just relax and be and cool off. In scripture, the shadow regularly means not the darkness, not the scary stuff, but it means this idea of you feel that shelter protection of walls and wings and the things that keep you safe when things get too intense. I want you to think of some shadows right now. Uh, if you've got a light, you can do this too, and I, I'm not going to show it to you, but you get the idea, right? If you hold up two fingers the flashlight in the dark, right, you get bunny ears. You can make all sorts of amazing little shadow puppets, things like this. In those shadows, there's light and life too. Is it dark? Not exactly. Is it light? Not exactly. It's something in between, and there's a beauty in that in between. There are plants that thrive in the shadows. Not in darkness, but they just don't like that direct light, and they grow and grow and grow anyway, in spite of it. And those shadows, those unknowing and dark times, can feel heavy or they can feel light. But when we're in those shadows, it's that idea that things are a little unclear. Things are a little unsettled. And there's also a beauty, a growing edge, if you will, in those shadows as well. So I want you to think for a second. When have you spent time in shadows in your life? When have you been in a moment where it's not clear? You're not sure which direction to turn. And you're kind of in this shadowy place, trying to figure out what comes next. If you think back to it, can you think of where the light was? that drew you out of the shadows? Can you think about how the light of the world pulled you from the shadows back into the light? Or were the shadows a respite, a break, a moment where you could be and not worry about the brightness of the light or the darkness of the night? Shadows are a wonderful thing because the reality is nothing in our world is black and white. Everything is a shade of gray. Everything lives in the shadows for a lot of reasons. As you get ready for bed tonight, as you take your time in meditation and prayer, whatever it is you do to center yourself, think of those shadowy places. 
Think of where sometimes they bring absolute joy out of the shadows. Think about sometimes where you retreat into those shadows for safety. Because God's present in those shadows as well. See you soon.